Hey guys, so here's a joke for you. What did the archer get when he hit a bullseye? Give up? A very angry bull. Ah. So here we go, guys. We're going to embark on a multi-part programming project. How's that for an alliteration? In this project called Target Practice, we're going to have an archer shooting arrows at a target. Part one, today, we're going to gather our resources. In this project, we're going to need four sprites, an archer, an arrow, a target, and a start button. We're also going to have three backgrounds, a splash screen with a start button. We're going to press the start button to begin. Then we're going to have a background for the game. And when the game is over, we're going to have our third background, which will indicate that the game is over. And of course, it will give you your score. In addition, we're going to need two variables, one variable to hold the score and one variable to keep time. So you ready? Let's start creating our project. All right, guys, so this is the game we're about to create. You click your green flag. We have a splash screen. The splash screen has the name of the game, target practice, a graphic, as well as a start button. When I click the start button, the game begins. Now with the up and down arrow, I can aim my arrow. The archer is holding it. With the space bar, I shoot. If I hit the target, I get 10 points. If I miss the target, I lose five, assuming I have points to lose. Over here, I have a timer. We hit the game last 60 seconds. It counts down from 60. As the game ends, three, two, one, we have our third backdrop that says game over and our score is displayed. All right, so let's begin to create the game. All right, so right now we need to create our four sprites. So let's begin. Make sure you're logged into your Scratch account and we're going to hit the create button. The create button's on the top blue bar all the way to the left. Once you hit create, it opens up a new project. The first thing we're going to do is name the game. And the name of the game is Target Practice. Okay, so the first sprite we're going to need is the archer, and we're going to use the cat. It's already there. The only thing we have to do is name it. So the blue box around the sprite in the upper left-hand corner, there is a information icon. Let's click that, and let's name this sprite archer, A-R-C-H-E-R. And let's close that box. All right, the next thing we're going to do is get our arrow. And we're going to get the arrow from the library of sprites that Scratch provides us. So right here where it says new sprite, the first picture is one of Pico that will open up the library. Let's, let's click on that. It's in alphabetical order. So you see all the way to the right, it says arrow. I'm gonna click on that and then hit okay. Now, if you look at the costumes, you will see that we have an arrow that points in all four directions. We're only going to need the one that points to the right. So I am going to delete all the other costumes. So I'm gonna go to four, I'm gonna delete that, three, Delete that, and two, I'm gonna delete that again by click, clicking on the X to delete. So we only have our one costume left. The next two sprites we're going to have to create, so we're going to use the drawing utility to do that. Now the first thing we're going to do is create our target. Now our target is a circle but we're going to be looking at it from the side. So it's just gonna kinda look like a sliver. 
Now, we don't want to make it too big and we don't want to make it too small because the game will become too hard or too easy. So we can play around with that. If at first it's not the way we want it, we can just recreate it. So to get to our drawing program, again, we're going to go to the new sprite section, but we're going to hit the second icon, which is the paintbrush. Click that. It opens up our drawing program. Pick a color, any color you like. I'm going to pick red. I'm going to use my ellipse tool or my circle tool. I'm going to click that. Down at the bottom here, I'm going to click so that it is a filled circle. Now, if you go to the very center of your drawing tool, you'll see a little X. It might be hard to see, but it's right there. I'm going to go slightly above it. And I'm going to click and draw a little sliver of a circle. And that's going to serve as my target. Click away to make it good. And here it is. Now it's called Sprite 1. We don't want to call it Sprite 1. That's not very meaningful. We want to rename it Target. So again, I'm going to click the little information icon on the upper left hand of that Sprite. Click. And we're going to name it target and then we're going to close it the fourth sprite that we're going to need is the start button to create the start button once again we're going to use the drawing tool so where it says new sprite second icon is the paintbrush so let's click on that we have a blank drawing tool here what we're going to do is use an oval and then on top of the oval, we're going to write the word start. Now, of course, you have to use contrasting colors. So I'm going to create a dark or black oval and I'm going to use a light gray for my letters. So the first thing we're going to do is click the ellipse tool. Once again, we're going to make sure it's filled. I'm going to make mine black. I'm going to go to the center. I'm going to move to the left, up a little bit, click and drag. There's the oval. Click away. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to write the word start. Now, this can be a little tricky because you don't get a second chance. And if in fact you make a mistake, it's not a big deal. We just start all over again. So I'm going to just make a mistake for you to show you what I mean by that. So I'm going to click the text tool. I'm going to click the color I want, which is light gray. I'm going to click in my target. I'm going to spell the word start, S-T-A-R-T. Now, when I click away, I have handles, but you have one opportunity to resize and position these words. So if I resize it and position it, in a bad place and click away I have no way of fixing that but it's not a big problem because if I do make such a mistake all I have to do is clear my board start again I'm gonna click on the oval make sure it's filled make sure it's black a little bit to the left and up draw my oval position it where I want it I'm going to click my text tool, pick the color I like, click inside the oval, spell start, S-T-A-R-T, click away. I have handles now. I'm going to make it bigger and position it in the center. Click away. That looks good. So I'm done. Once again, Sprite 1, not very meaningful. So I'm going to click the information circle inside that sprite and I'm going to name it start, S-T-A-R-T. Then close that sprite. So there we go, guys. We have now the four sprites we need. So now we have four sprites. Now we're going to create three backgrounds. We need three backdrops. One is called start, one is going to be called game, and one is going to be called end. So to create our backdrops, let's click on the stage. 
So all the way to the left of your sprites, you see stage. It should be a white rectangle. Click on it. You know you're there because you have the blue rectangle around it. You see we have one backdrop named backdrop one. Well, we're going to name that start. So change the name to this backdrop to start, S-T-A-R-T. -T. So on the start backdrop, we're going to have a graphic as well as the title of our game. The title of our game is Target Practice. So I'm going to click the text tool. I'm going to click the color I want, red. I'm going to click in the screen and write our name, T-A-R-G-E-T. -E -T. I'm gonna use two lines. So I'm gonna hit new line, practice, P-R-A-C-T. ICE. Now, of course, I want that bigger, so I'm going to click away. I have my handles. I'm going to make it big and position it to the upper left. Remember, we need to have room for our start button, so I'm going to have my start button somewhere about here. So, right over here, I'm going to build a graphic. And for my graphic, I'm going to make it very simple. It's just going to look like an archery target which is multiple circles, one within each other. And I'm gonna use black and yellow. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my ellipse tool. I'm gonna to hit black to make the outer circle black. And a little trick is if you hold down the shift button while drawing your circle, it will make the circle perfect. So I'm gonna click here, press shift, and draw a black circle. I have one opportunity to place it, so I'm gonna place it there. I'm gonna now draw a second circle. That circle is going to be yellow. So I'm gonna click on yellow. I'm gonna hold down my shift button and draw a smaller circle inside the circle I already drew. Now, it doesn't matter that it's not perfectly placed because once I click away, I can reposition it. That's good enough. Click away. I'm going to go back to black and do the same thing. Hold down shift and draw a smaller circle. Position that. And now for the center circle, I'm going to make a little red circle. So once again, hold down shift and draw that. And then I'm going to position that in the center. And there we go. We now have our start backdrop. The second backdrop we need is the game board. And if you remember from my example, it was the field. That field was gotten from the library. So where it says new backdrop on the top center, we have four similar icons as we do for new sprites. But this of course is new backdrops. The first backdrop looks like a landscape and that's what's going to allow us to access our library. So click on that. Now to get to the field, the field is outdoors. So under categories to the left, I'm gonna click outdoors. I'm going to look for the field. And the playing field, it's in alphabetical order, it's under P. So I'm gonna click on playing field and then I'm gonna hit okay. So now we have our second backdrop, but we don't want to name it playing field. We're going to name it game. So change the name to game, G-A-M-E. And for our third backdrop, that is going to tell us that the game is over and it's going to display our score. So we're going to be using the drawing tool to do this. So once again, it says new backdrop, the second icon, paintbrush will open up our new drawing tool. Click on that. We have a blank screen. I'm gonna click on my text icon. I'm gonna click black. I'm gonna type game over, G-A-M-E-O-V-E-R. I'm gonna click away. I now have my handles. I'm gonna make the game, I'm gonna make the text larger. Now when the game is over, we'll have our Archer display the score. 
We're not going to worry about that right now. But we do have to name this end. So now we have our three backdrops. One name start, one name game, and one named end. Okay, we've created four sprites, three backgrounds. Now all we have to do is create two variables and we're ready to start programming. The last things we're going to need to create are our variables. And in this game, we need two variables. We're going to need the score variable and the time left variable. So let's go to scripts. We create variables in the data section of the scratch tools. So click on data. There are no variables here because variables are project dependent and are created as needed. So we need two variables. So we're going to hit make variable. And our first variable is going to be called score. It is going to be viewed by the user or the player of the game. So I'm going to use an uppercase S, C-O-R-E, and I'm gonna hit okay. And we're going to need a second variable. And again, this will be viewed by the user as well. So I'm gonna hit make variable and we're gonna call it time left, uppercase T-I-M-E uppercase L-E-F-T, and we're going to hit OK. Now, because I like symmetry, I'm just going to move the time left to the right-hand side and keep it on the same plane as the score. All right, guys, now that we have everything we need, stay tuned for part two, in which we're going to start programming the sprites and start to make this program come together. And as always, like what you like, Subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you next time.